the gospel is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. But one might say, well, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? I believe in Jesus. I believe in him. I'm just going to continue on going on murdering my children. I'm going to continue on lying. I'm going to continue on doing this and that. If God's grace would just save anybody, if we just believe in him, then why won't we just why shouldn't we just keep on sinning? You don't understand the gospel. You don't understand the gospel. God saves people from their sins. Not only the wrath of God, not only will you be saved and enter into his presence and be able to stand before him with his righteousness, but when God saves someone from their sin, from his wrath, through the work of his Son, he makes them alive together with, with Christ. He takes out their heart of stone and he gives them a heart of flesh. He causes them to be born again. 2 Corinthians 5.17 If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has passed away and all things have become new. He's no longer the same anymore. He no longer desires the same thing. Once he desired sin in this world and the devil now, God has made him alive. He's made him to be born again. He's made him a new creature. So now, the one who didn't seek after God is now seeking after God. And the one who didn't understand God, and it just seemed like it was foolishness to him, is now able to understand God, is under, able to understand his word and his gospel. And it's no longer foolishness to him, but it is the very power of God that has made him alive. He is no longer degenerating. And becoming more and more foolish in his thinking and stupid in his thinking. He's been made wise in his understanding. The fear of the Lord is now in him. And now he trusts God and trusts him for wisdom and strength. This is all, this is all the work of God's regeneration. His life coming into the believer and making that believer alive together with Christ.